But Israel has a PhD in deception. <laughs> because it's Dajjal at the back of this. The mastermind. And Israel would not want to wage a big war and appear to the world naked, clearly, as an aggressor. No, that's not deception. Israel has to wage her big war and make it appear as though she was only defending herself. Hmm? The only Muslim I know of who has had the capacity to be able to penetrate the deception that has been going on all these years. The only one I know of was a man who never went to Al-Azhar University. <laughs> now, he wasn't a sheikh. His name was Malcolm X. He's the only man I know of who had that eyes wish to see and could clearly recognize the strategy and the deception. Read Malcolm X. How is Israel going to launch this big war and yet get away from being perceived by the whole of humanity as the aggressor, blatant aggression? You have to come with a good strategy. The strategy is this. Our Prophet Allah's blessings be upon him, he prophesied. He said, in the last stage, in the end times, there'll be great liars. Russia doesn't lie. Putin doesn't lie. But there'll be great liars in the, great, in the end time. So beware, he said, beware. And um, <laughs> yes, we know what happened in Pearl Harbor. Was it 1945? When the American government was aware that Japan was planning a massive attack on the American fleet, the Armada, parked in Pearl Harbor, in perhaps Hawaii. And they did not take any steps to protect the ships and to protect the sailors in the ships. And uh, they remained silent, and the American uh, um, Armada was destroyed. And uh, I don't know, maybe 2,000 men lost their lives when Japan lost, launched this attack. And the Americans knew the attack was coming. And why did they allow it to attack? Why were they silent? Because they had a plan to put into action and they needed, they needed this attack to take place to mobilize public opinion. And these innocent lives were lost because of the hypocrisy of the American government. The same thing happened in 9-11, <laughs> when not only did the American government know that a terrorist attack was being launched on the World Trade Center, but the American CIA was a part of planning and executing the attack, of course, in alliance with their sister, the Israeli Mossad. I don't know who played the major role and who played the minor role. That's an important between two sisters. And they allowed the attack to take place, although they knew it was going to come to, to attack, it was, it was going to take place. And so many innocent people lost their lives. Of course, there were those who were warned not to go to work on that day. And of course, they didn't go to work and their lives were saved. But the others who were not warned, they lost their lives on that day. And so now we say that it is impossible that Israel did not have knowledge that this attack was being launched a few days ago. If Israel was completely unaware, and if Israel was honest and truthful in saying we had no advanced knowledge that this, launch, this attack was being launched, then I say to Israel from my sitting room here in the Caribbean island of Trinidad, if you are truthful, then the camel could also pass through the eye of a needle. 
No, <laughs> no, it's not possible that Israel was unaware that this attack was being launched.